Hello there guys and welcome to another Paladins ranked gameplay video. Today I'll be playing the Ash and on my team I have a Tyra who will probably be playing Burn Monster. We have an Androxus as the flank, we have a Grok as a healer and we have a Ying as the other healer. On their team they have double um, flanks which is Koga and Zen followed by a Barrack. Their healer is Furia and Victor is their damage. Um, quick disclaimer through this video at some point the bot will take over and I won't be playing and that's because I had to get the door because I was busy playing well, let me explain to you I was playing on my uh, playing sitting on my couch playing away um, and next thing there's a tap on the window um, and I look out the window and there's a cop and they want to come inside to go upstairs to some uh, one else's someone else's flat so I went to the door and let them in and uh, yeah it took a while and I got back and I was like oh my gosh I was playing a ranked match so um, yeah that was interesting and not very not 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 a lot of fun for the other t uh, for my team I suppose they're like oh no he's DC'd we should have healed him <laughs> so we're gonna start playing I'm gonna play standard sort of ash kind of uh, lots of shields not much knockback although I could use a bit more knockback on this map I could blow people off the map or shoot people off the map but I'm gonna play more of a I know she's an off tank but I'm gonna play more of as a um, a point tank in a way you know sort of slightly going a little bit more off but pretty much staying around the point and stuff um yeah not normal what we'd normally do but then you know uh, this is ranked <laughs> um, and we don't have any other tank uh, but we have got the double heal so i should in theory be okay and i'll constantly have someone healing me up so this is a full game, it's unedited, um, so yeah, I uh, will be talking a lot so you don't get too bored, we're all dashing in, I'm going to go straight on to the point and then I'll see if I can push anybody up, but I do not like Serpent Beach, this map is horrible, this, you, if you got, your team doesn't always see you behind the wall and they, some teammates don't even come and look for you, sort of deal, okay that's what I thought, the flanks will try and split the, um, split the team up, you don't want that to happen, oh missed my shot there, but let me just dash on the victor. I smacked him and now uh, expecting a bit of help from nope team <laughs> anyone <laughs> and the team is not here okay and I'm dead could have used a heal could have used some of the team members to come in I mean there are two healers for crying out loud um, but I guess Ying has decided to go and heal the Grok on the point which is fine fair enough okay dashing back in See if we can hold, get the point this time. Shield down. Keep the fury off. Get bully and fight with the barrack if I can. Smack him up against there. When we're looking for the heals, throw my shield down. Always checking, but also checking behind me quite a lot. Um, you find it. I won't. I find as a tank sometimes your team kind of just runs away, and you're like you're left, and it's like oh he died, the tank died because no one, you know. Yeah, um, if I'm playing a healer, I tend to run forward, not backward. I don't want to be split from my team, so I want to, you know, even if you all die together, it's fine. You can all respawn together, and as opposed to um, running away and letting the flanks split you up, because then it's like the healer's not, the uh, tank's not getting healed. And I have got sustain cards in here, like the like the very very commonly used now life grip card. Um, but it's sometimes not enough if you're fighting four people. Do you know what I mean? Or it's like their their entire team almost. Okay, there's the Kogari's ulting. I managed to get out of it. Didn't kill me. Didn't take too much off me. Um, that's a Kogar ult. He spins around you. You've seen it. I'm sure you've seen it before. If not, go back and look at some of my Kogar videos. I use his ult. <laughs> oh, shameless plug there. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so uh, shooting at. Um, the barrack who's doing a really good job at hiding, you know, hiding away and, and keeping himself up with his turret. That's what he's doing. His turret's healing him and he's basically so I'm making a dash in on him and oh I'm gonna die because I'm gonna see the Fury of Beam's gonna hit me and I'm not gonna have time to react to it and then Barrack's gonna kill me. See I in 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 in, in my head the idea was I dash in like that and, and uh wrestle with the barrack and the rest of the team would push straight ahead and like take care of the furia but obviously not uh, didn't work out 
All right, I've got my ult. I could use it to try and push onto the, you know, push and win uh, the point fight. And we'll see what happens, or, or you know, or make a push, and that's another important thing. If, you know, if you're going to push, go for it. I mean, you're only going to be out of time or die. It's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping that everyone's going to be on the same page as I push up. Push two of them forward. That's sweet. That's it. Two down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oops. Oh, oh, nice little shot there. Grok pushed up too much. I'll throw my shield down now. No, someone behind us. And he's ulting again. Could get him. I'll hope to get him. Where I got him with the Grok. I think the Grok actually got him. And I'll try and push up now. Uh, push failed. We were all off. And I ulted as well. Uh, it looks bad. But I think it was something to do with a bit of lag there. Um, so I hadn't quite shown up that it um, push had failed or whatever yet. Or as I as push failed it happened, I hit my button. One of the other, you know, something like that happened. Never mind. We won't dwell on it. We'll just move on. So back in the spawn, everyone jumping around. No one really saying anything to each other. So it's quite a good team. You know, keeping everyone keeping chilled. We got this really one to one. We should win. I'm gonna go up. Gonna play up the point this time and play more on. Basically, play on the point really. Um, hiding or going behind the walls over there is not really healthy for me. And no one really comes looking, so. We're trying to back you up, so. Or last, at least first round, maybe we weren't so synergized yet of how we play. Okay, there's a barrack. I should be able to push him out of this. Let me just see if I can. Uh. Okay, I missed my smack there, but at least I've got Furia running away, so she's going to be healing the barrack. And there's the... Yeah, I'm dead again. Barrack came and got me. Okay, Tyra. Tyra has been separated, so she's just shooting from the top. And there goes the rest of the people past her. Maybe it could be a bot, I'm not too sure. I know at some point I play a bot, and that'll probably be the point where I play really really well. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot these guys all off the map. This is me now trying to win. Boom, trying to take out their tank. There we go, I'm getting healed. Trying to take out that turret and then try and take out their barrack. And we should have it. I should be able to throw my shield down in a sec. Being kept up nicely with health. There's the Fury no one going in after her so I will try and dash in after her. I should be on the point by now. She must have gone the other way because I, I can't see her. She might have hidden. Yeah, she did. She must have gone the other way. Let's we'll just hold this. We should be fine. Okay, we're up to about 65. And yep, point captured. And let's see if we can push it this time. Sorry, I just got to scratch my nose. Ah, there we go. And there's the. Koga, who managed to dash out the way, fighting him here with the Tyra. He's moving all over the place, but we should. Oh, Tyra got him. <laughs> it's like, I ain't having any of your nonsense, Koga. Okay, shooting at these guys. Throw down my shield. Oh, I was supposed to throw it in front of Tyra, but she's moving so quick. There's the Willow, I think. Is it a Willow? Do they have a Willow on their team? No. I'm imagining stuff. Alright, I'm up to 91%, throwing my shield backwards, waiting for them to push up the payload. Because I really want to push now. I always like really aggressive and push really hard and fast, especially on this map. It's just like the longer you dwell around, the more chance you have of being killed. Obviously, you watch out for ult around the corner or people ulting from the top there. If I was a victor and I had my ult, I'd probably ult as people were coming past or something. Jump down and then get right behind them there. He's ulting over there. See, I would have done that because I can escape from that one quite easily. I would have come behind us, personally. But, you know, that's me. And there's the ult. Boom. That should create space. Ah, oh, that, that Fury of Beam is giving so much life to the barrack. I don't get on with it though. I p really, really honestly prefer Cherish. If I play her, I, I cannot send it. I prefer the Beam. I mean, it still stuns. But I prefer it as uh, not as a healing tool. Just unless there's like maybe three tanks possibly, and they're all going to be on the point, 
and they can hear it and uh, act to it or act to it. I think, yep, this is the bot. This is the part where the cops came. The hot furs. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun. And then that's the bot dashing in now. Although <laughs> I got to say, didn't play too badly. At least can't the bot couldn't choose any more stuff for me because I'd already maxed out the four. It could only like increase what I already had shield wise, cauterized, and rejuvenate wise. And we should win this. There is that guy down. Oh, what, what am I saying? The the, the bot should win this. <laughs> oh no, maybe not. Oh, dead to barrack. I'm starting to guess that a barrack is kind of like kind of a bit of an OP tank at the moment. I mean, he's brilliant. Don't get me wrong. I play him quite a lot, but he's kind of OP. Still wish Ash had a bit more power in her shots. That's all, that's all. I mean, I know she's got a lot of sustain and stuff, but just maybe uh, cause it's like I don't know. I suppose she doesn't need it that much. I mean, 400 is quite a lot. I've actually started playing her as uh, with Solid Slug, which I don't think a lot of people use that talent. Um. That I'm finding it more accurate than like her blo uh, like her blow shot. I mean, blow shot over there is alright if you hit him behind the wall; it'll still hit him. But I prefer like the solid, like just like it's like a 400 doom 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 each time. Just keep him furious as far back as we can. In comes his flanks as normal. He might try and ult again. No, this is in. He won't be ulting again then. I really can't say much in this part over here because uh, it's like the bot playing. I will come out in a minute. I think after I die this time, it'll be me coming back again. So yeah, I was out out of action for a few minutes. Actually, didn't even I even forgot what I was playing. You know what I mean? Um, so funny enough, I thought it was like a ranked match. And I need to win this one so I can get um out of the low silver I've fallen down to. Damn, rank can be rough sometimes. <laughs> um, but I should get myself back up to gold and hopefully platinum before the end of the season. Was that Koga again? Beam healing. Uh, I've got to say, oh, I'm dead because I bounced into the beam and there's the turret right there. Those turrets are nasty, man. They're just passively boom, boom, booming you every time victors come up. Alright, so as I come out the gate now, or out of the spawn, um, it'll be me playing again. I'm going to go straight and try and get as many, kill as many as possible, because they're right on us, and I really do not need them getting a point. So, boom, and there we go, we got a double ult, well, not a double ult, um, Grok's ulting too, Victor tried to ult, took him out as quick as I possibly could, with the Grok's help, obviously, or Grok's helping me, I, I don't know. He's playing playing reasonably well, though this is the last one. All we have to do is capture the point. I've got my ult. I'm going to hold on to it, obviously, until I least expect it. Sometimes I used to go to the sometimes go to the point and ult straight away, depending on how many ults we've got, and then just usually expect the team to stagger them because you don't want all ult at once. You want to stagger and stagger and stagger, and see how you do. Um, and if you maybe start leaving a slot open for master riding, I guess that could be helpful. <laughs> Get down to like a game like this, which is kind of kind of close. I mean, it's three to two. Well, they, if they cap this one, it'll be it'll be a draw. Um, you know, um, who captures first sort of scenario. So, I'm gonna play off the front line again. Luckily, the other team like to shoot up, and the flanks are not um, particularly great at flanking us getting in, and you know. Dealing damage. And there's the croc. He's doing the nice bit of flanking there on the tank. They're actually taking it out. There's a Tyra. She's away there. I can see her. And I'm just going to hang on the point, really. And cap as much of it as I can. Ying there. She's coming forward. Good. And Koga down. There you protect her. I don't care to put up a shield or whatever. I'm going to push a little bit forward. See if I can take anybody out. Throw my shield out. Basically trying to dismount now and keep them away. No, Barrack, no. I'm going to try and push him off here. Yeah, I should be able to. No. Oh, yes, I did. I got him up. And there we go. Up I go. Ulting and holding. And hopefully someone will come up behind me and stand on it with me. And that is game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.